So as I'm tapping these in, I'm also using my fingers to make sure that they're straight. Glass spot, we drop the bell in. The crew gets going pretty fast on them when they get moving. This will be the final product that they take. They'll run it through on the drill press. That's the sander where I was saying that they break down the corner on it. They just take it and they just take it and go right around. And all it does is to break down the corner so your line doesn't get caught on the edges. My crew comes up with some pretty creative stuff to streamline our processes. We do build a lot of rattle wheels. And instead of us doing the store-to-store -store now, we're doing more distribution centers, distribution everything, where they're ordering pallets instead of cases. This one is our most popular. This thing here sells like crazy. It's the wall mount, but it's a swing out, so it's got the, the hinge on it. We also have it as a removable pin that you can squeeze off, pull the pin, they put these all over your fish house so you can move your wall your rattle reel throughout the time. We have both styles. We have the pin and we have the non-pin. Both sell the same. They're the same rattle reel. We have to mount each one where we take a drill, go through, pre-drill all the holes. Oak gets dry, tends to crack if we don't. We do a lot of winter fishing products. We do around eight, 10 different products from our dipper to our slush inhaler that we sell. So this is just one aspect of our winter fishing. This is just one part of it. We are always building. I'll be building rattle reels all summer long. There in June, I'll be making slush inhalers ready to go. I have a feeling we're gonna pick up here shortly and we're gonna be moving. So I have my crew building behind me. As you can see, we've got piles and boxes ready to go.